Punishers. Uh, so if there's a major shipping part, important in peril supply, there's a dock of four ships. Oh. Tom, sweet, 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 sweet. Vengeance. Huh. We need to find out where that sound came from. We are indeed. Turned. How goes the task I gave you? I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. Mm -hmm. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Someone has well, on you. Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. Your solo performance is about a week away. I expect to hear it means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Just make up missing parts. Uh -huh. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Well, we can reconstruct the verse. We can do this. What's the first oh, verse? Olaf. Our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Olaf found him asleep. Olaf made a deal with Numenex. Olaf was Numenex, a dragon in human form. That's not true. Let's say Olaf made a deal with Numenex. Let's try that. Hmm. Uh, Olaf did become king, and Numenex escaped later. It's, it's entirely possible. And I'm sure the court will like that. I'm writing it in. Okay, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Olaf ordered disguised troops to attack Solitude? Oh. Convinced Solitude to attack Winterhold. He sacked it and used magic to find Solitude. Okay, okay, I get it. Alright, um... Yeah, let's say you use magic. Oh, that um, sounds good. I, I'm not sure the court will believe that Olaf had wizard powers, but we shall see. Oh. Well, we're trying. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's 
place looks great. I do hope the court likes the purse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Uh, so what do you know about your okay. We should really get to court. Yeah, so I was just saying if we could change it. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think Bro, they're gonna love it. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't love that crap. I do hope the court likes the verse. Good gosh. <laughs> Dude, just find the way. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Stained Rylings, at your service. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Hope so too, dude. Petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death dealing demon. I can always find time king. to share. Your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man. No fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go. Though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Because Solitude would not soon bend knee, Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold, his only true ally, and used magic bold to blame Solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the Liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. 
Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! Oh, uh, no. You have done us a great service here. Pretty good. I can't begin to thank you enough. Does that mean I'm a bard now? Soon. Soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Oh, let's go. I will come back and talk to all y'all in this room because y'all look like y'all have some interesting stuff going on here. We should but have the festival soon. We gotta do one thing at a time, man, or I'll get. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. Oh. Well, I'll come back and talk to you later. to be did Viarmo send you us was back on everyone were ready but we'll start the festival at dusk ah the bard to be did Viarmo send you great looks like you'll be one of us soon we'll gather outside the college for the burning of king olaf and the burning of King Olaf. Let's go. Come on, light the fire. I need to go upstairs. There we go. Upstairs. Keep that magic away from me. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, light the fire. You might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival. Thank you so much. The really increased my sales. Welcome, people of solitude! We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, She becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard. Okay. Lady, lady. Like you. So I'm Bard? Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. The gift of Gab and 1200 gold. I don't know what the gift of Gab
Do. I believe Sanguine would be pleased with this festival. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. You've done well by restoring our festival. I heard you're the... I heard you're the reason we get to have this. Thank you. Uh. Oh, you're a wizard? I, I mean, you cast that spell just now, yeah? I was hoping you could make me invisible or something. Can you? Make me invisible? Why do all these kids want to be invisible? All right, I knew you'd do it. This is gonna be so fun. You can't even imagine. Hey, so are you ever going to make me invisible or what? I heard you're the reason we get. You know what? That's another one I'm forgetting about is this dragon aspect. This thing is huge. I have not been using it. Have this. Thank you. Good. I don't know how to make you this one. So nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. Burn the king! Best batch of spiced wine I ever had. I thought the festival wasn't happening this year. Thanks for convincing Elisif to put this on again. I like the party lights. I like the party lights. It's a burning body. Set. Yes, festival meat pie, specially made. Get your festival meat pie, specially made. Did you say free meat pies? I said a free meat pie, as in one. Here's yours. I showed up to watch, yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Listen, Rogbeer and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogbeer I liked her. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. From that point forward, every time Vivian and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. Beat me up, dump meat on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. We were children, sure, but Rogbeer never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any talk about him being an honorable Nord? <laughs> Pure folly. Work in it, I own it. Well, okay. My father owns the Winking Skeever, but it's the family business, so it'll be mine when he kicks off. Jarl Elisif the Fair. Poor woman. Losing her husband and king like that. It was a dark day for us all. Damn. That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. I can deliver that for you. Save me a lot of trouble. Here, take it to the Blue Palace. Mm-hmm, I'm doing it. I was done talking anyway. Yes, festival meat pie, specially made. Might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival, after all. Mmm, sweet rolls. Yum, 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 yum.
Oh, I take all the meat I want. Ah. Might as well have some sweet. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Just one bottle per customer, except for the woman who saved the festival. Here's a couple of bottles for you. Oh, let's go. And I'll take those ones on the table, too. Oh, yes. A secret family recipe. The only good thing my father, Octave, ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries to make any. Good luck out there. It seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Oh, very brisk. When the snow sets in, even the hardiest Nord needs some spiced wine to warm the blood. Stay warm and keep sober. It's the two things I know for sure will make life better. Mm -hmm. I thought I need to talk to these people, but we need to go to the people are. Huh? 